normally when I do a Zara order, I'm like super confident I'm not gonna like at least 50% of it and half is gonna go back and my bank account's gonna be fine. But today that was not the case. I'm a little bit worried for my bank account and yours. So my apologies in advance. <laughs> and welcome to this Zara autumn, summer to autumn transitional style haul. Now in this haul I've focused on finding some nice staple basics that are things you can definitely wear like summer, autumn, winter, spring but I feel like they're going more into autumn and I'm very excited to share them with you. But I have found some amazing pieces that I feel like are really gonna enhance your wardrobe and you're gonna get a lot of wear out of each item. It's not gonna be like a, you know, pop and drop kind of piece. These are pieces that are wearable, workable, and you can wear them again and again and again um, with so many different styles of looks and, you know, day to night, all kind of different um, occasions. Yeah, some great pieces basically, which you can tell I'm super excited about. So let's get into today's Zara autumn transitional video <laughs> haul. Hi guys, if you are new here, I'm Katie. Welcome to my channel. Nice to have you here. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you are a original subscriber, you guys are the best. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, now's the time. Whack that subscribe button, whack the alarm bell button, and you won't regret it. For you guys' reference, I'm a UK size 12 to 14. Um, I'm five foot nine, and I typically am 12 on bottom, 14, sorry, 12 on top, 14 on bottom. At the minute, that's the kind of sizes I'm wearing, so just for a good reference for you all. I'm gonna start with one of my absolute favorite pieces. Now, I've been after a pair of trousers such as this, for a little little long while now, for probably I'd say like the whole of summer. And I just haven't been able to find the right pair, haven't been able to find ones that are long enough, that fit right, that felt like they could be dressed for day and night. Um, so I, I've been waiting to find the perfect pair. And I have to say, I found them at a price point of 32 99 which I'm kind of proud of. Like I feel like that is very good. Um, they're this lovely white, wide leg, trouser now they're not too wide but they're also not like too fitted they're just like the perfect in between these are going to be so versatile so easy to wear something i've got on today like this little crop t-shirt it's like a little soft knit t-shirt something like that with some bergen stocks maybe you want to dress it up with a nice bodysuit into them and some heels super super easy this also can be worn with like trainers blazer oversized t-shirt tucked in you can add belt I've waited for one that I could find belt loops for because I wanted one that I could add a belt to I've seen a belt that's coming in next week's H&M order which if you guys are subscribed you will see um, and there's some amazing oh amazing a little bit more autumny pieces in that one a little bit of knitwear if you're excited for knitwear like I am make sure you're subscribed because the knitwear is coming okay um and yeah some some a belt that will go with these just just divinely so i absolutely love them the fit is great i got them in a size large and to be fair to zara large normally fits me if it doesn't i'm like all oh, their sizing is a bit off but yeah these are great the leg length is great bear in mind if you guys are a little bit shorter they might be a little bit long um but i love them they're great in case i didn't say it 50 million times fantastic I'm so glad I found them you know when you've been looking for a pair of something for ages and you finally find it it's just just a good moment now I have a wedding next week um next weekend and it's in St Paul's Cathedral which is actually where Princess Diana got married can we just take a minute because there's been a lot of pressure on me to find the right dress for this wedding also I just feel like as someone who's a fashion blogger there's already like this pressure on me to like look the best dress or like to have a good dress um which I know sounds stupid and obvious but I haven't been able to find anything I absolutely was in love with now I've actually managed to find two options in this Zara haul that I'm in love with at like stupidly great price point so I was willing to spend like a few hundred pound to find the right dress but I haven't needed to now because oh my god you guys and I ordered it in two sizes just to make sure because I had this feeling it was going to be as beautiful as it is. I'm just like slowly, oh, sorry, is this not, 
is this not a dream this little bit makes it look so designer and so expensive i can't even tell you it does not look like a zara off the high street off the rack dress this has got something special about it okay this is look just look at the chiffon i love it look at the detail the back is like a double crisscross open back perfect for summer the color is perfect for summer it's beautiful i wasn't sure what the color was going to be like but i do really like it I'm not normally one for too much bright colors but pinks have my heart this was now 49.99 i'm like how how zara oh my god it's so amazing but I, I have to say i did size down so i ordered the large and the medium but on the bust area, the large is very gapy. And now I can't remember which one I actually filmed for you guys for the cutaway. I think I filmed the medium. No, I actually think I filmed the large. I'll, I'll write a little note here, whichever one I filmed. But I'm going to be keeping anyway the medium, which is smaller on the bust area and fit all the way down, however, just fit lovely. It's really great if anyone else feels a little bit like me. Sometimes you get a bit bloated. You get a bit of like um like that lower pouch that just pokes out a little bit and just you just want something floaty but also comfy but you want to be elegant and sexy and feminine and this is like all of those things in one if you guys are returning subscribers you know i bang on about those three words like all the time i want to be comfy chic and i want to look feminine as is for and a little bit sexy because why not like why not i want to we want to feel our best selves especially when you go to a wedding so yeah i absolutely am in love with this and this is option one so let me know you have to help me decide guys because i'm so torn this is option one and then i'll show you option two next i'll show you option two in a little bit actually i've got a lot of like jeans and stuff sort of bits to, to share with you which i'm excited about because jeans is one of those things i normally hate shopping for which is why i love online shopping because you could just order them all to your house try them all on and send the ones back that you don't like okay so this is i found some good ones so i picked up these they're a mom fit so whenever i go mom fit i go 14 but i have just been like wearing 14 as of recent anyway these are only 29.99 i love the color of these i think they're going to be so wearable so versatile and they're actually a really nice length now i feel like the length on these i could get away with trainers sandals boots heels like they're that perfect length so i'm really excited about these and um, like for 30 quid i think they're great zara jeans i have to say like if anyone else struggles with jeans like me zara jeans typically fit me well so if you are someone that's like i can just have a fine jeans just try a zara jean out and see how you get on if you go mom jean size up though okay always my trick with mom jeans because otherwise it just doesn't work and sizing is so relevant i just want to say like sizing is super super relevant it doesn't matter what it says on the label, it's how you feel, how you look, how you feel about how you look, and all of that good stuff. Like, it's really, really irrelevant, so please don't worry about sizing up or, like, the size in your clothing. Like, it's just so freaking irrelevant, okay? Like, no one can see it but you, so stop being so freaking harsh on yourself. Um, I love this, like, back detail. It looks a little bit, like, Levi-esque. Um, I think they look really expensive, and, yeah, I just love, like I said, the colour, the style, and how they fit. Like, I'm just, I'm chuffed with how they fit. So chuffed. Because I picked up, I've actually got two of these. I picked this up, I stupidly picked it up in a large, and I already own it in white, in a medium. And I'm like, why did I do that? So, anyway, I'm going to go back online and swap it for a medium. So, again, maybe think about sizing down with these ones, because they're quite, they're quite roomy. There's quite a lot of room in them. Um... They're £11.99, they're just really lovely basics. And this is actually, it's gone quite viral, I think, on like Instagram or TikTok. And you can wear it this way, and it's kind of like, it's quite a low top. It's not too low, but you can go braless, which is my favorite thing about it. Or you can wear it this way, and it's just like a higher cut, and it looks great. So if you want to see that, go over to my Instagram, because I'll have shown it over there. It's at Katie Victoria Holland, I'll leave it here. Make sure you're following um, along as I share daily fashion over there and i'm just beyond excited for the autumn season so yeah lots of exciting collabs coming up over there as well um this actually like i noticed when i took it off it's got like all these weird red spots inside which is so random which means i would have had to send it back anyway but yeah really love this it's a gorgeous color but gonna be very versatile just worn on its own could be worn with like a blazer could be worn with a nice knit cardi over it perfect for like layering checking things on top of but if you get hot then you take it off you've got something chic underneath um so yeah i love these it's like just great basics and i did get it as well in black my ear has just popped and i can't hear at this side and it's really weird um so yeah so i was <laughs> 
sorry about that. So I'm not going to talk too much about the black one, but this is the black one. It's going to be super versatile because I live in the white version of it. Like, live in it. Like, it's my most worn top probably of this summer. Um, and I feel like I just needed to get one in every colour because when I wear a top that much, you need to get it in every colour because then you have one in every colour to wear when you need to. Um, and I love the fact that it is versatile. So, yeah, how fun. Perfect, basic, staple for £12. So this is like kind of a weird time I know of year to like buy shorts, but I feel like it is still warm enough to wear shorts. Maybe some of us have still got holidays booked. Um, and I actually find this time of year a really good time to buy shorts. Like because a, something like a denim short is gonna be in style next year and next year and next year and next year forevermore. It doesn't really matter when you buy them. You're gonna have them in your wardrobe for them, for the, for the, for the foreseeable basically. And I feel like whenever it's peak of summer, do you think I can find a decent denim short? No. But at the end of summer, they always bring out like great ones. So these basically are a really, really lovely length. So if any of you guys are subscribers, you'll have probably heard me say in a previous video, since turning 30, I'm actually 31 now, but since turning 30, I decided I wasn't gonna wear shorts when my bum cheeks hang out anymore, okay? Like I never thought I'd get to this day, but here we are. And, <laughs> and I don't do it anymore. So finding new pairs of, jean shorts has been a little bit difficult because I had some great ones from Zara. My bum cheeks poked out a little bit. And I never really thought it was a big deal, but you know, I don't know what, ha I don't know what happened. It's not changed, but something changed. And it's all personal preference. I'm not judging you. You crack on and do you do you, hun. But for me, I like something a little bit different, a little bit longer, and a little bit just like not so clingy everywhere. Sometimes you're like, I just don't want everything to be like to me which again is not my old style, but we're changing with the times and the age apparently. So <laughs> anyway, I feel like these are really in. Um, you can style them up in loads of different ways and I really, really love them. This color of jean blue is really nice as well and gonna be really versatile. So these are gonna be a definite keep. They're 22 99 and I got these in a 14 as well because they are mom fit. That is why I thought it would be good to get them in a 14, and it was. You also can roll them up, like either once or twice. When I do roll them up twice, they are a little bit short. We're like, mm, thinking about the bum might be coming out too soon, so I probably wouldn't do that. But I think I did show either in this color or in another color later them rolled up. So if it's not in this color, you will see them rolled up in another color. Um, but yeah, they're really lovely and just a great staple basic. Like I said, at this time of year, you can do like these with a blazer. You can do them with um, like a leather jacket. You can do them with a, you know, those kind of those kind of looks. They're very chill, but still like because it's warm, but it's not hot, and it's also not cold yet. So yeah, I think that'll be some nice some nice looks with these. So these I think are the same exact same ones in a different um, color. So these are in a black color. They're like a washed black, which I actually do quite like, because I think sometimes like the black black makes them look really cheap. Um, so I think the washed black looks a little bit more expensive. These are rolled up, and as you'll see in the cutaway, like they are definitely a little bit short. I don't know if they're like too short or not. I'll have to like reassess the situation when I watch it back. Um, but let me know maybe what you think in the comment section, or if you are the same as me and you're like, have a no bum out rule. <laughs> Um, these are 22 99 as well and again like I said can just be popped on something like this a little blazer a little leather jacket super easy or just as as this you know with some big and stocks or some trainers or some like um, biker boots would look quite cool so yeah super versatile and I think they're gonna be really great um, just a staple for the wardrobe okay so I've like been getting into stripes clearly um, or trying to get into stripes I had a stripy jumper last year from Primark. I loved it, and then I just couldn't really find anything quite right since. I've got something though coming in the H&M order, which will be next week's video, and I'm super excited because there's a really stunning looking jumper in there, um, which is stripy. So make sure you're subscribed with the love button button on. <laughs> um, and yeah, I picked up this T-shirt. This one, I think. Hang on. Yeah, this is my favorite of the two this is like a slightly a thinner stripe i wasn't sure about the material it felt like quite a stiff cotton but actually when i had it on it fit quite nice it sat quite nice um, and it's only 15.99 it is oversized as you can see but it's cute because you can like tuck it into shorts jeans um skirt midi skirt satin black midi skirt would be cute with this 
um, and some little like daps. Oh, that would look really lush. Um, and yeah, for 15 99 I just think it's a lovely staple basic. If you didn't want it to be oversized, you could probably size down and it would fit really nice. Um, I wouldn't wear this personally out. It's quite long. I would definitely just wear it tucked in. But it didn't, like, you know when you tuck some things in, it feels bulky. It didn't feel bulky, which was good. Um, and just, like, a really nice basic staple to wear. Like, again, like, if you're going to try and dress it up a bit smarter, you could go with a blazer over it. Or just, like, good staple for, like, under... In it where it's gonna be coming out soon guys sorry if you're like a sun worshiper i normally am because we've been traveling a lot this year i'm kind of just a bit sick of the sun which i never thought i'd hear myself say i feel like i don't even know who i am anymore <laughs> okay i told you this was full of basics there's quite a lot of basics in here um these have been a real staple in my wardrobe this year and i didn't actually have a white one so i feel like i needed to find one where the cut was good the cut was right on the arms um, because I ordered a few from H&M and I thought I'd ordered the same one that I already had but I didn't and the cup was like literally like this I was like well where the hell is my bra meant to go and like sometimes I don't feel like I need to wear a bra but with these you kind of do so you have to be able to get a bra under them and I think in the cutaway I'm actually wearing like a little sportsy bra under it which I think you may be able to see slightly on the outside but what you can do under these is wear those like really cheap pre-mark um, like I don't know if anyone else has found these they're amazing if you haven't found them you're gonna love me because I literally do not wear wired bras anymore they're basically like a strappy stretchy bra with no like seam free bra with no wire they're a game changer guys <laughs> I literally will have to find some and talk about them in another video because they're so good um so yeah you can wear them under these really really nicely and um, they fit really well under them and they don't leave like a bra mark because i think if, if, if you wore like an underwire bra under this it would literally show for it, it wouldn't look good so i actually do have one of them ones coming in the h&m water as well so h&m water is going to be fab but there's also some like over the knee boots in there that's just literally ridiculous they're ridiculous i can't wait i can't wait for them to arrive and this was 5.99 like i think this is cheaper than the, i thought the h&m ones were cheap but this is like mega so yeah i love this i've got it like i've got this style one in like a pink and a blue and i wear them all the time so i thought it was time to get a little white basic one too but these i think are a little bit different because they've got a zip and i feel like the other ones had buttons um these are again a very similar like jean short to the ones I've already shown you. I'm not gonna bang on about them too much. The fit was really nice on them. I have, however, got a pair already, very, very similar. Um, I think they're from like, what shop are they from? It's relevant really, isn't it? <laughs> I've already got a pair though in this color, so I'm not gonna keep these, but they are a really lovely, like light denim. I really, really like this shade. I like the style, I like the fit, I really like these. And if I didn't already have a pair, they would be exactly great, and I think, the reason I ordered quite a few different like shades of shorts is because they do look sometimes very different online and getting the right shade of a jean is quite hard sometimes so yeah I think these are perfect if you're looking for a light denim short these will be lovely you can definitely roll the bottoms up as well if you're not you know not either too long-legged like me not them too long-legged but you know or you don't mind a little bit more leg out they can definitely be rolled up for another like style of look which is nice to have sort of like that alternative to options and i think this is 22.99 as well okay i'm going to show you this other other wedding dress and you ta guys tell me if what you think like i got it out of the bag i'm not gonna lie and i thought it was a bit i thought it was a bit jabby but on I do think I might get a little skims to go under it, you know, like a little like pull me in, just so I can breathe all day. It's kind of the opposite of what they do, isn't it? But <laughs> if I was to wear this one, I probably would get something to go under it because sometimes the ruching did drop down and then it had like this plain bit here. I didn't think it looked as flattering as I wanted it to. So I may, if I do decide to wear it, I think I'll do that. Now the only thing for me is I'm a bit like, what is this? I don't really love this. It, I reckon it could be unstitched because it's so lightly stitched on. And I guess if you took it off and you didn't like it, you could always put it back on, couldn't you? I love the print on this. I love it. I think it's so summery. It's so beautiful. The length on it is stunning. The fit of it is stunning. I love the ruching. It's super, super flattering on like 99.9999% of figures. It just looks great um this has got like wiring in the cups and i do have quite a wide 
like boob they're not necessarily that big but they're like quite wide so I did find that that was a little bit like a little bit too small on there not so much like you could notice but for me piercing I could feel it um but it wouldn't be an issue or I don't think it would like matter I also don't know if I would wear the strap up or not um, but it, you have the option too. You could easily tuck it in and no one would even know it's there. So you wouldn't have to like take it off or anything. This is £29.99. Like, like could, I, could I go to St. Paul's in a £30 dress? I don't know. Like, I feel like that's cheeky as hell. Um, I just feel like wedding dress styles have changed a lot over the years. And if I can go in a £30 dress, why not? <laughs> as long as they look fabulous, which I will. Um, but yeah, I got it in a large. I love it. I just think it is stunning. I am like really in two minds about it because like when I look at it off, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But like when I went downstairs to show Reese, he was like, oh, I really like that. And he really liked the first one, but he then he was like, oh, I really like that one. I think it's more you. So now I'm just completely torn. So guys, please, I don't ask much, much of you, but please can you just leave me a comment and let me know which one you think I should wear this one or the pink one from earlier um just let me know leave me a comment or, or send me a little message over on Instagram because I love chatting to you guys but you know if you can't be asked for that then just pop a comment underneath it would be very much appreciated I have another pair of jeans now I feel like I've been looking for a pair of jeans in this colour for what feels like my whole life like I've never ever found the right ones these are the right ones. I love them. I think they're so lovely. The fit on them, I have to say, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, they feel a bit snug. But when you've, like, been in them for about five minutes, they're good. They are really good. And they're definitely going to be wearable. £29.99. I really like them. The colour of them is fantastic. And the length of them is also great. Like I mentioned earlier, it could easily be worn with, like, trainers, heels, boots, or sandals. Um, so extremely versatile. And loafers. Because loafers, I feel like you've got to get the right length jean, otherwise it looks weird. And I have a new pair of loafers that I really wanted to wear. I think I might have styled them with these, actually, in the cutting. I can't remember. Either these or the other pair I can see. But, yeah, these are a really great staple if you're looking for a new pair of jeans. Mom fit, again, I just fancied, like, a little bit more mom fit jeans. Not loving, you know, match else at the minute. I've seen lots of different styles, and I'm still just, like, really enjoying these, this sort of style. Because I think it's just the most versatile jean, so... Yeah, I think it's going to look great with the jumper that's coming from H&M next week. This is the t-shirt that I did actually think was um, the other one earlier. This is a little bit like less good quality than the other ones I've shared with you. This is only 12 99 so it's not bad. But it's very like bobbly. Like I'm just going to show you there's only one there you can see. But they, this has come off like over everything in my room. Over everything I've been wearing. Like everything. It's just come off on everything. So... I don't know if like one wash would sort it out and it would be fine but just like looking at the quality of the t-shirt it's like slightly more see-through I don't know if you can see it in the like how well it's coming up but it is slightly more see-through and I just don't think it's as good quality as the other one however it's 12 .99. it's a nice basic it's going to be very versatile and I, I don't know if it's a navy or a black I think this one's slightly more navy than black. Um, that just might be my eyes playing tricks on me. Who knows? Right, now I don't know if I've ordered two pairs of shorts that are black or I've just shown you the same pair twice, but I think, no, these are different. These are definitely different. These have buttons up all the way up and I think they came rolled up and then I rolled them down because they look like they've been rolled. <laughs> um, like I've got that dot on my nose now yeah I do. that's what I mean it molts everywhere um yeah I really like these I like them again because they're like that more washed style of black they've got a smaller bit at the back um they fit really nice on again just a basic mom jean short um for 22.99 I think it's really great value very similar to like what I'm wearing today you could just pop them on with that again gonna be super versatile i've told you a million times how to wear jean shorts i'm not gonna go on but i do love them and a really great staple if you needed them and then the last piece i've actually got to share with you is another pair of jeans because i haven't shown you enough jeans today did go on a bit of a jean spree um i do really like these actually what look this is the black dots all over it i have to hoover the floor again now um these are absolutely wonderful i love 
this detail on the bum. I think it looks really expensive, even though it says Zara. Um, I think they're a great colour. These ones I think were a little bit more snug than the others. Um, there are the Mom Fit High Rise Slim Mom Leg Ankle Comfort whatever that means, they're 29 so £30 again, which I think Zara jeans is pretty basic standard for. The colour of blue is lush, it's going to be super versatile, um, and I will leave all the links of everything I've talked about in today's video down below in the description box so you can shop everything super, super easily. Um, if you ever can't find links to anything, just leave me a comment or pop me a little message over on Instagram and I will get back to you ASAP with links. Um, if you ever want to shop my Instagram, all of my stuff is over on Like to Know as well. So if you're not on Like to Know it, it's a really easy app to download. Super easy to just like shop everything straight away. Um, you can follow me over on there as well, which just makes it easy to find my stuff quicker. Um, so yeah, that is everything from today's Zara haul. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the more slightly autumnal pieces. Um, by that I mean jeans because it was pretty much a jeans haul but I also hope you like the other pieces that I shared within it as well and how I styled up some of the pieces and hopefully you found it helpful to hear how to style some of the pieces as well that you can style them in lots of different ways. Um, I also forgot to mention I think this top that I'm wearing now this is also from the Zara haul as well um, it's like a lovely like soft knit it's more of a creamy colour than a white which I fe think feels a bit nicer sometimes because sometimes I think white and black can feel a little bit like um what's the word like jail like a jailbird bird <laughs> is that the right term I don't know um however yeah I really like this it's cute it's like cropped perfect like super easy to wear super comfy fit is immaculate and it is 17.99 so yeah this one's gonna be staying in my wardrobe we just haven't taken the tag off it yet um so anyway if you guys enjoyed hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe with the lamba button on leave me a comment of your favorite piece or please leave me a comment of which wedding dress guess wedding guest dress you think i should wear i really would appreciate your feedback on that one because i'm really torn and the wedding's next week um and yeah hopefully we'll see you guys next week as i upload a video every single wednesday 7 p.m I shall see you next week. Thank you so much for being here. Bye. Also make sure you're following over on Instagram too. And if you're on TikTok, and I also have Facebook. And that's about it. Okay, bye.